is going on guys now real quick before the video today I wanted to show you an awesome channel that has taken the Super Mario Brothers and amped it up and taken it to the next level let's have a look you are no longer safe you may call me the Koopa tell the Koopa Mario is back the channel is Rich Alvarez. Now click here guys or click in the description box below to see the rest of this great web series. Click here on how to subscribe. Thank you guys very much. What is going on everybody at your boy to Slap Train and welcome guys to something brand new here on Forza Motorsport 5. Now I figured we do something Pretty simple, but yet pretty fun. Now, this is going to be called Rent-A-Car. Now, if you guys haven't guessed already, we're going to be renting some cars. And not just any ordinary car. Cars that we have never really driven before in this game and really get to experience with the full wheel. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, we are driving with a TX Thrustmaster racing wheel. We have the GT3 rim add-on as well, too, on this guy. Beautiful package here. You guys can pick this up on Thrustmaster's website. Link will be in the description box below. Anyways, though, let's get this going right here with today's Rent-A-Car. And we're going to be doing a couple of them this episode. I'd like to try out a couple cars that we haven't really driven. Now, the Aerial Atom is one that, you know, I haven't really got to experience the full, you know, amazingness of this car. And I would really love to test this car out with the crossbow and really feel how each car reacts compared to... I guess the same car. I mean, they're they're very much similar in the game. Um, obviously, they're very different as well too. So we're gonna have a look at the crossbow and see the differences between each of these cars right now. So where there's the Caterham as well too, and maybe we can do all of the smaller open wheel cars for this episode. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but these are gonna be all driven stock. There's not gonna be any upgrades to these cars whatsoever. Where the hell's the crossbow? There we go. Alright, so the KTM has 295 horsepower, 2 liter engine, and just over 1,700 pounds. Now, if we go back all the way to the aerial atom, where'd she go? She over here? Yeah. So a 3 liter engine, 475, and just over 1,400 pounds. So this thing is absolutely extraordinarily fa la 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 You know what I'm saying, right? You guys know what I'm saying. So we're going to rent this car for today's episode, and we're going to be driving a none other than the legendary Mazda Laguna Seca right here. We're going to run with the full 15 cars right now. Three, all right, let's, yeah, let's do three laps on here. Collisions on. We have simulation damage on as well, too. So this is going to be a very fun race. And we got to turn up these drive -tars. We got to put the big right here. We're going to put them on expert, man. Why not, right? Um, and that is about it. Just have a look at our assists. Suggested line off. Braking off. ABS is off as well, too. Steering is normal, traction stability off, manual shifting because I don't have, you know, the you know the shifter, and simulation damage on here. This is going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys do enjoy this series, and if you do, show your support by slapping that like button, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just wanted to say it. But no, definitely, though, you guys do support the channel and the series. It definitely does mean a lot to me, guys. You guys may not understand the full functionality of that like button, but damn, I'll tell you, though, it really does do a lot for, for a channel. I'm going to tell you that right now. Alright guys, so here we are, the start of Mazda Laguna Seca right now, Ariel Adam V8, oh my god, this is going to be a hell of a lot of fun, two laps on here, oh my god, here we go, three, two, one, oh shit, look at that Bugatti man, thankfully we got to start on the front of the pack, but I'm a little bit, I'd like to start in the back though, I'm not going to lie to you, so I'll let a few of them go by, I'm going to find our place back in here. Oh shit, my bad, my bad. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. This thing gets down though when I need it to. Like that third gear is just all torque. Woo! The engine on this thing is just pure symphony to my ears right now, man. Oh my god. Got it. Look at that big bitch Bugatti though. Oh, what are you doing right now, man? Front downforce, right front suspension. Oh my god, I can feel that pulling now every time I brake. That's not good. There's a big bitch in front of us. 
Oh. Almost did not make that stop on that. I'm not going to lie to you. Pedal down. Oh, we got a little bit of air on that. Dude. We're going to try and cut inside right here. Pedal down on this. Oh, shit. Let's go, man. We are squeezing in here. Oh, e break it. A little bit over there. Oh, man. You know what? I'd like to run him down again this lap here. Go, boys, go. I'm coming for all of you right now. You right there? Yep, you. Here we go, baby. That's on the chinkways right behind me. Oh, that injera. Surprised we don't see more accidents right now. Here we go. We got to play this smart right here. Chad, yo, what the heck? Get out the way. Oh. We got it. We got it. That second gear, though, can get swirly at any second, man. Come on, Zon. I'm right behind you. We'll try and go inside on him. Give him a little tap just to let him know that we're there. The Sajera, though, is pulling with us. I didn't want to hit him. Oh, man. He is so lucky that I did that. Oh, no. I did it again. Armor gird, man. This thing is tough. What? What? We got rewind in this bitch? Oh my god, I'm using it one time, guys. One time. Don't be hating on me right now. How do I don't rewind further? Oh, no way. I'm about that life. That's greasy. Do not hate me, guys, alright? Damn. I didn't even know that I had rewind. Let's go. Here we go. Excuse me, Jared, but I got better damn breaking than you. Except for my damn. Oh. Oh, I knew he was right there. My bad, my man. My bad. Couldn't handle this big bitch. Not really big, but every time I'm braking, that left front is pulling me in. That Beamer, though. They are battling right now. Let's see the battle here. Oh, shit. Can I squeeze through? Oh! Excuse me, guys. I gotta go, though. Oh, okay. I'm getting bumped. I'm about it. Is that law for or the P1? Excuse me! Oh, we gave him a little nick. Coming to the line right here. Can we pull on him? No, nah, we're not gonna do it. But that was a hell of a lot of fun though, man. Woo! The aerial atom! Oh my god, guys. That was a hell of a lot of fun with that car. Um, you know, everybody loves Mazda Laguna Seca, man. If you don't love Mazda Laguna Seca, you're not a true driver right now. I'll tell you that right now. Because Mazda Laguna Seca is amazing. That is a piece of history on that damn course right there. All right. So, can the KTM Crossbow live up to the hype of these open wheel cars? And this is my very first time driving this car. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm being completely honest, 100%. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this is my first damn time. You know what I'm saying? First time driving this. I ain't, I ain't lying to you guys, all right? I, I just had to look at you guys. You know, eye contact just to tell you that I ain't joking. But here we go, though, man. L Laguna Seca, crossbow. Let's get this going right now. Look at this thing, man. It looks dope. Woo! Damn, look at that exhaust, though. Here we go, baby. Can hear that turbo. If you guys want to give little tidbits about each of the cars that I'm driving as well too, that'd be awesome to read in the comments, man. In terms of you know engine or just anything that you guys may think would be cool to plot. I mean to read. Here we go. Can't really do much. This Elgato's got to move. I'm liking the fact that there's not as much torque, but the gear ratios they seem very short. So I'm wondering what this thing tops out at. I'm gonna find a hole right here. Shifting's a little slow on this. Obviously, if we had a clutch, we could rev match it. Oh! What's up? I'm right here, RS. Locked him up just slightly on that corner. It's alright, though. Damn, here we go. 
We do not have a lot of torque on this thing, I'll tell you that right now, man. If you guys can see, that Corvette is hauling some ass on us. Oh, shit! In the dirt! It's alright, it's alright, we got it, we got it. I got this shit. Get back, Zelgato! Oh, baby! He's on my left! Here we go, we got this, man. I'm gonna make a hole right here for us. We are drifting that shit with our foot down. I am driving mad aggressive right now. We gotta make our way up the pack, man. Oh, shit! This car is getting put through its paces right now, and I mean, let's be honest, it's a rental car, man. We don't gotta worry about no damages. If he... Okay, that just means he was trying to cut me on that shit. Let's go, baby. I'm after that damn... That damn R8 up there. I, I want it. Oh, shit. Okay. Got some jump on that one there. Braking on this car is phenomenal right now. Here we go. We're going to run down that R8 in the corners. Phone be going off. I had to get that mid-damn drive. What do you guys know about that? Don't be giving me a ticket. If there's any police officers watching, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. We're going to find a gap right here. That Viper is not giving us much. Stay back, man. I'm coming up. We gotta play this outside line right here, though. That Viper is right on the inside. Oh, give me some room, man. God. Okay. You wanna play like that? Okay, I see you. That F40, though, you better move that ass. I know there's only a thousand of you made, but I'm so sorry I tapped you. Here we go. I'm not getting beat by that Viper, though. I'm gonna try and take him on the high side. Oh, lift that second gear had just a little bit more go to it. We're coming in side by side on this stretch. I'm gonna take it sliding. Oh, man. Here we go. This thing is crazy quick, though. Let's drift this shit, this last corner right here. Ready for this? There we go. Car felt amazing on this, man. Absolutely love this thing. We gotta finish it Ricky Bobby style. Oh, shit! Okay. Well, there it is, gentlemen. The KTM Crossbow. Had a lot of fun with this car, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So, out of the two, I would have to say that I have to give it to the Aerial Atom. Overall, obviously, it has more horsepower, but that's not why, though. You know, the shifting was a lot faster. Um, there was just, it, it, it was a seamless shift, essentially. You could really tell that the gearbox ratios were better. The gearing was perfect on that aerial atom. The crossbow had a little bit of delay from second to third gear, I found. And then just overall was a little bit slower than I expected. Obviously, the thing's not going to be, you know, crazy fast, but just the fact that it is an open wheel car, obviously we are keeping up with Vipers, Ferrari F40s, and that is huge. I'm not knocking this car in any way, shape, or form. But out of the two, though, I have to give it to the Aerial Atom, and not just because of the performance rating, all right? It handled better, it felt better, it shifted better. Overall, had a better actual experience with that car. So, other than that, guys, thank you very much for coming around today. If you guys did enjoy the video, slap that like button, as I said, and don't be afraid to comment what cars you would like me to see. I'll do two cars per episode, and let me know if you guys like the series as well, too. For a first-time series, I'd like to see at least a 1,000 likes up there, guys. I would. I really would for a first-time series. And comment the two cars that you guys would like me to compare. That's about it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching today. It's your Buddha Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.